welcome to another computer tutoring training session. This time we're going to have a look at laying out a document and in particular adjusting gaps between objects on the page so that they are, well, as you want them. So let's start off by creating a new document by going to File, New and Documents. There's our new document there. We're not going to have facing pages and we'll have two columns here and whatever page size uh, you feel necessary uh, then you can have that. Great, so first little tip. If we use the rectangular frame tool to draw a picture, as we're clicking and drawing, we can use the up arrow to create extra boxes. To remove the boxes, press the down arrow. So this is the up cursor key or on the keyboard, and then the down arrow removes them. If you press the right cursor key, it creates, his box, creates boxes to the right. If you create, tap the left one, it removes them. Good, excellent, so far so good. So first thing is, let's create our picture. So we've got one picture here. What I'm just going to do is hold down the Alt key to create a duplicate of this. And, and I'm also going to do one more just here. So what I want to do is ensure that the gap between here and here is absolutely precise. So how do I do that? The well, first thing is if we just draw a box to select all three of these, then we're going to go to Window, Object and Layout, and Align, which will bring up our Align panel over here. So at the bottom of our line panel is a place called Distribute Spacing. So what I'm just going to do is just zoom in so you can see that a little better. Here we go. So Distribute Spacing, you see it's been preset to 7 millimeters. I'm just going to remove the 7 and type 10 in there. And then when I click on this button here, it will adjust the spacing of each one of these so it's exact. Let's just zoom back. Now how do I know that that's 10? So if I go to the Gap tool, so this gap tool will allow me to measure that. So there we go, you see that's 10. And there we go, you see that's 10 millimeters. So that's another way. One last quick way is by using the smart guides. So what happens is, is as you click and drag a shape around, if it lines up precisely, smart guides will appear. So if I drag it up a bit, and if I drag this up a bit, you'll see them. You see the two little arrows on the right hand side, they're very faint. It might look a little better if I make the whole thing a little smaller. Uh, just make that a little smaller there we go let's drag this down a bit here we go so as I drag it down there we go you can see the two arrows I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see you see those two arrows there one more time there we go so you can see the two arrows that's the smart guides there Great. And so there that will allow you to distribute it so that it's evenly so that's all for now so more videos can be found on computertutoring.co.uk